Hey, what's up guys? It's T-Bone here, and welcome back to another episode of playing Legendary Game of Heroes. So in the last event, we talked about uh, the event uh, Song of the Wild. We did a preview of the event packs, and today I want to do a quick episode just on a recap of the team I'm using, how I'm doing this event, and uh, what the event team, uh, the event deck can look like when you use the team together. So I am on the second last level in the Elite uh, map, and I'll show you the team that I'm using right now. So let's go ahead and uh, bring in an ally. So I'm using two Robin Hoods at six stars that is uh, boosted to 10 times commander. I'm using Hercules to boost all of my earth attackers. I do have a uh, Frankenstein who has been extremely useful so far, and I was able to get Lyra at the five star uh, event collection so I got lucky and I got the the main character here so I have her in my team as well because uh, she does also have a 10 times bonus and as a leader I just brought an orchid of deep boss to give me the additional 10 times bonus here so let's go ahead and battle here let's do two battles because the next one I, I do I want to bring in um, one of the ultra rare cards the Minora's prodigy and see how we can use that card which I think is one of the better cards in the event deck and see how that works out so for me, my strategy here is just, you know, uh, use as many of the 10 times commander bonus as possible. Uh, looks like I will probably not be able to do two power gem matches here. Or can I? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do this. And talk about sort of like the strategy here. So the problem with the Orchid... Orchid's Deep Moss or Orchid of Deep Moss here is that she actually converts your gems into um, heart gems and that really kind of screws up things for me because I could lose my um, my green power gems if I use her so I'm not really sure what the um, what her use really is except to power up your ultra rare card but I think you know um, for me it's really just me getting the 10 time bonus here. So let's go ahead and uh, use up the power, the battle skills here, and then use Lyra's skill to generate an additional earth gem. Uh, so that is actually really useful. You get three turns of at least one gem uh, for the next three turns. And what I'll do is I'm just going to do the match here, here, okay. And <clears throat> this should be enough to, to uh, move to the next wave, good. And so it's been really easy just by having so many 10 times bonus uh, in this particular deck has been making this a really easy process for me. And I didn't even invest in any of the event decks. Like both of the cards I got uh, from the event were free. So, uh, so and I also have um, Hercules here whose battle skill actually increases the turn by one. So it gives me a, a way to do two things. One... It allows me to do one more turn without actually doing anything because I can then power up my Frankenstein uh, for another turn. So far, uh, I've been one-shotting the bosses up to this point until about uh, two levels ago. So I think I need to wait one more turn for uh, Frankenstein to deal more damage to, to try and one-shot him. So let's go and uh, see if we what we can do here. I'm going to try and... I'm just going to bring my... I'm just going to waste one turn, and then I can actually, uh, if this doesn't work, I can always use the gems to defeat him anyway. So let's see if we can one-shot him here. So at, uh, at so second last level, I guess I can't quite yet with 40 uh, intensity, I dealt about 4.2 damage. But with what's remaining, it would be simple for me to simply just do this, and then complete the boss. <clears throat> And that was pretty simple. So let's go ahead and now do one more battle, and this time I'm going to change the team up a little bit, and I'm going to use the full event deck and see how that works. Okay, and uh, and I think what I actually may want to do is to see uh, really the best way to... Uh, oh yeah, I need to get, a, get more keys here. So I'm going to event store here and purchase key. So that's good. So I've got five out of five. <coughs> So I'm going to go ahead and borrow um, Minera's Prodigy here, and then I'm going to switch out Frankenstein uh, for my Orchid's Deep Moss. Uh, and also I'm going to switch out a Robin Hood to 
let's change this to Athena because Athena actually has the skill to um, increase the drop rate of gems. So this is really sort of like what you want to use uh, in conjunction with a, um, a gem destroyer like this one. So let's see how we do in this particular uh, fight. So this is now using all three event cards. And again, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to ever use the uh, Orchids of Deep Moss's uh, battle skill. But, you know, hey, let's um, let's at least try this out. So, okay. So we can build two power gems here. And then I can see that um, the Song of Heart was activated. So now uh, I will actually be getting this... A passive skill to re heal myself every turn for the next couple of turns uh, but let's see here let's go and oh, I use the wrong one okay it's all right um, and I use her skill here so unfortunately I don't have a good drop here so but I do have additional turns so I think what I could do is so that's actually okay um, I do this, 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 and then that, so that in my next turn I'll be able to match all of my green gems. Uh, good, that actually worked out well. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, okay, and I can save my green gem for the next turn, so that I can. What I can do is I can do a, a gem drop the way it's intended to. So now I'm going to activate Athena skill. And I'm going to activate uh, Min Prodigy's Minerva's Miner Prodigy skills, and then this is really how it's supposed to work. So let's go ahead and activate that, and then activate Minerva Minerva's Prodigy skill. And now you can see I have a lot more green gems. Plus I have two power gems uh, next to each other. So we're just going to go ahead and do a match here, and this would be a simple uh, completion of the boss level. And so as you can see here, I think that um, you really have to pair this deck with a, a either Athena or another gem spawner to really take advantage here. Because really, when you use a gem destroyer card, you want to do you want to have either a really good spawner card for a lot of uh, gems or another card or two that can actually give you power gem spawns. Uh, that is really where you're going to get the most damage there, and so that's how you can uh, really uh, complete the deck. So with that, we finished, and we, we're into Inferno, so that's pretty much the deck here. And uh, the thing here is, with Glacius, with the guild boss, I actually don't use my uh, Frankenstein much. I actually, when it's Frankenstein, I mean, when it's the guild boss, this is the team I use. So I go ahead and bring in Frankenstein here, and I change this out to... Um, to Hippolytus because she actually gives me a uh, a power gem so that I could um, I could have a higher chance of matching green gems to to boost my power and I bring Lyra in to dispel fear so that I don't lose uh, lose out my my battle skills so this is a deck that I use for guild bosses a little different than just going through the map uh, hopefully you you know like I'm, I'm curious what your deck is if you don't have all of the event deck uh, let me know what deck you're using i think there's a lot of different opportunity uh, a lot of different options really uh since there's been a lot of uh, earth commander cards already especially if you have what's known as the halloween deck that is you know the mummy the witch frankenstein uh i think that you're probably breezing through this event already so Anyways, this is what I have. This is what I'm using. I uh, just wanted to share this with you and hope you're doing well. Ho hopefully you're uh, you're enjoying this event. I, I, I think that um, this event's deck wasn't quite worth the gems and hopefully that they'll, they'll bring back something good for the next time. So anyways, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.